In this video, I'm going to talk about a very hyped Solana project that's just launched. It's called Rakudos. They're a 7.25 sol floor right now. And I'm gonna talk about whether I think they're worth buying. I definitely think they were worth buying before on the mint, but obviously um, that was very oversubscribed. So unfortunately I didn't get any on it, but this is a pretty interesting project. So essentially the team behind this collection is Shakudo and Shakudo it's the only data and compute platform you'll ever need. So they basically provide data, uh, analytics, computing solutions. So the way they describe what they do is essentially infrastructure for Web3 and data teams. And they're also building a decentralized AWS. So Amazon Web Servers, which is one of the biggest, most profitable businesses in the world. It's one of the reasons why Amazon's so big is because they have this whole Amazon Web Services kind of platform, right? So they, what they're building is a decentralized serverless AWS designed for Web3 and data teams, right? So a simpler to use version of AWS because AWS, if you're a smaller business, it can be quite complicated and expensive to hire experts who will run it. And they're essentially doing that. What they have is a pretty incredible team here. They have around 15 people who are all gigabrains. Um, if you actually look on their about page, you can learn more about their teams. So Yevgeny is their found co-founder and the CEO. He's got an incredible background. So he's at BMO Financial Group. He actually founded their BMO AI Labs department. He's been working in AI and data. He's worked as a senior software engineer at Amazon. So he's an incredibly experienced engineer. And then the rest of their team is very impressive as well, right? Kristen Yuen is their co-founder and head of platform. So she's also got a very strong background in AI and machine learning at Deloitte BMO. And both of these have incredible educational backgrounds as well. Yevgeny has a PhD in, I believe, uh, computer science at, from University of Toronto. Christian has got incredible experience. And then what's funny is even their community leads are super experienced, right? So Kayla is a quantitative software developer. So every single person in their team is like an incredibly experienced person. Um, in the software space and they understand their product really well. Same thing for Sabrina, right? She's uh, she's a software developer and now she's doing their social media and community management. What is Shaku though, right? I've kind of given you the high level of it. I would recommend checking out their GitHub, but they provide a variety of services. Obviously they're trying to build kind of like an decentralized AWS. They're also providing staking validator services so they can help you set up your staking if you're on Solana and you want to set up a node. Um, they provide RPC nodes. They make it easier for you to deploy your data and Web3 apps. And overall, they just are a utility play, right? Now, on top of the, the fact that they have an incredible team, they've also raised over $4 million in seed funding from very, very um, well-known VCs. Some of their VCs include Draft Ventures, Basecamp Fund, which is a pretty well-known fund, Golden Ventures as well, and a few others. They raised over $4 million to essentially build AI and data services. And they're really, I think they're pivoting over to Web3 because they see a pretty big opportunity to help a lot of these Web3 teams, especially with data, right? Like on in Web3, getting a lot of that blockchain data and really being able to use it is quite difficult. So I think that's what one of their big plays is. Now they've set up validators for various sole projects as well, like DGods, Monkey, DAO, and DGen DAO, right? They also have a bunch of customers that they work with, including Quantum Metric, um, risk thinking AI and powered. So they're actually revenue generating, generating significant amounts of revenue. So this brings us to the NFT collection. Why are they launching an NFT? The NFT is called Rakudos. Rakudos, obviously, as you can see here, they have a very kind of like OK Bear style art. And the NFT collection is quite simple. It's an NFT collection for their brand. They're using their NFTs to build a strong community on Solana and also onboard new clients. So they have some pretty interesting utility. The first form of utility is you can stake these Rakudos for pre-kudos, which is um, essentially service credits that can be used in for their data tools, right? So pre-kudos will be a Solana SPL token and it will be to Rakudos NFT holders. And then essentially it's basically one pre-kudos can be redeemed for one USDC of service on their uh, various kind of services, right? So pre-kudos is kind of like a peg token where it's like peg to $1 worth of service credit. But then the other use of pre-kudos is it can be used 
uh, to be when kudos their utility token launches it can be used as a way to um, basically get kudos right so you trade in your pre kudos for kudos now uh, kudos is not going to be a peg token so that's where the potential upside is the actual emissions are pretty low for pre kudos so depending on the NFT you have, I believe it's anywhere from a pretty low 14 pre kudos a year if you don't have a rare one. And if you have a rare one, you get 60 a year. So it's not, in USDC terms, it's not really that great. Obviously with a seven sole floor price, it's basically, um, it's not amazing, but it's, you at least you get some value out of it. However, like I said, the big potential is when they do launch kudos and that's not a peg token if that you know 10x's 20x's having a lot of these pre kudos that you can trade in for kudos could be useful but again it's very unclear how this um this will work and they're obviously trying to figure out the regulatory and legal requirements and um the max supply and the tokenomics so essentially with this with this pre kudos kind of uh, utility play, it's definitely useful. But then the really interesting utility of this NFT project is something called the referral program, the Rakudos, uh, RR, Rakudos referral program. So essentially with the tools that they're providing and the core platforms they're building um, that allows you know Web3 and data teams to develop, scale, deploy, and maintain their work, they are charging um, usually $10,000 a month for under 10 users, and then $1,000 extra per month for additional users. So for each qualified sales, Shakudo will pay 60% of the first year platform to the Rakudo's treasury for a maximum of 20,000 USD per referral, right? And then the Rakudo's treasury then distributes it to the referrer, so the referrer gets 40%, and then the rest of the pool gets 60%. So again, and then they also have basically referral programs with their managed RPC nodes and validators. And they have this whole gamification where the longer you stake your Rakudos, the more um, of your reward you'll get. So if you actually refer two or three projects to these guys, you can make some significant cash, right? Like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And the only way to really be able to do the referral program is to actually hold the Rakudos. So I think that's my biggest motivation to hold it because Essentially, if I'm able to refer a few projects over, which I should be because I'm in the space, I know a lot of projects that are building, then this could be really lucrative. Now, on the other hand, I don't know if this would be that lucrative if you're not referring projects over because that 60% is diluted over 10,000 NFTs. Um, so, you know, let's say if $100,000 is referred to the platform the first year, then 100,000 divided by uh, by a thousand, 10,000 is 10, and then only 60% of that. So you'd get only $6 per NFT. So you'd really have to have millions of dollars referred to this uh, basically platform for it to make sense if you're a passive holder, right? Especially considering the rewards are quite low. So overall, my thinking on Rakudos is I probably will pick one up because I think there's some potential here. However, I don't think the rewards are that lucrative. I don't think the, the pre Kudos payouts are that great. And because of the fact that they already have a significant amount of VC funding, they, uh, they have so much, you know, basically um, so much of their, probably whatever their payoff, it's going to have to be divided between the team, VCs, et cetera. I don't think this is a sh super shadowy coder style project because that was 50% of all token emissions being distributed to NFT holders. So it was a no brainer in terms of buying it. Over here, I assume it will be 5%, maybe 10% at most. Um, so overall at seven soul, it's, you know, it's a potential buy. Um, I think I might just pick one up for the referral program and being able to refer some projects over because that's a big upside. But as a passive holder, um, I am not 100% sure that this is gonna be the best play unless the price keeps going down. So overall, I'd say at the three soul mint price, 100% very bullish would have been a no brainer. At seven sold right now, it's kind of like, I feel like the market's priced in the upside. Um, so I'd say I'm moderately bullish, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you really want to get involved in the affiliate program or unless you really are, uh, you know, kind of a big believer in this team, which I think this, this team is exceptional. I just 
don't know how the value is gonna be distributed back to the NFT holders in the way I'd like. So yeah, guys, that's it on the Rakudos project. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Would love to hear what you have to say. And thanks again for watching this YouTube channel. I would love to keep making more videos. So comment below with any NFT projects or any Web3 projects in general that you'd like me to cover. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.